Baba Kuboye is Baba, which is father. Baba Kuboye is my son. Baba told me that Kuboye. That's who he is. I like to call him nephew, though he's my cousin. He's a son of my because my dearest late cousin, cousin Francis, she died the same year as Fela. Who is he? Uh, well, to me, uh, he's, he's my cousin, my second cousin. Uh, his mom is the daughter of my aunt, and we all basically grew up together. His mom is from Kuboye, and he used to have just 38. Back in the day on our lower road, and Fela used to go and jam with them there. You know, and uh, we had a few Christmas parties at their house. So growing up, you know, they used to be our cousins on the island. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. He's the son of Tunde Kuboye and Francis Kuboye. And uh, yes, that's about all to describe who he is. And he's a musician. And a rising star, for that matter. He's a musician. Uh, uh, Big Baba down for whatever. Since uh, Baba and both his sisters were kids, they were always uh, part of their family band. You know, um, uh, yeah, I think it was. What was their band name? Was it? Yeah, anyway, it was, they used to do shows with their mom and sing and for some reason to me that used to think he used to be able to sing more than me that as a kid. <laughs> wow! When did I know about the person to be with? Well, to me that, like the rest of my other children, my people still from, uh, live with the hatred that we see. My best wife, my last mother, I got to practice the way. Tumida grew up in the busy life family. From his childhood days, he has been in the busy with the band. With my wife was a singer in the band, lead singer in the band, great jazz singer. And uh, we rehearsed at home, we discussed at home, we planned at home. And all my children are there, that is Kevin Lorraine, who is the first born, Baba Tumida, who is the second born, and Agba Oluwa Kiba, who is the third born. So, they all grew up with the musical act of their way, we were planning, rehearsing, and so for me to answer the question, when did I know he started learning about music? He was born inside the music. I cannot remember, but I know. Um, he had been nursing the idea for many years. Cousin Francis has been dead 25 years now. So at least 25 or no, let me say 24, 24, 23 years ago, he, I, I started noticing him and Tammy were doing singing. And uh, so shortly after his mom died, I knew. He might have started before then, but it was shortly after his mom died that I found out. I think this was about five years ago. They had come home and they had uh, said something. Is it five years or three years ago? And they had said something about music that we want to play music. I didn't even know that he had another profession on the side. So when he said he wanted to play music, when I heard him say so, I believed, I thought then that he was going to just be a professional musician and live by music. But like his parents did. They did live by music, but they had other professions that they were known for. The brother was a dental surgeon, for instance. To me, I went to King's College, and from there, he got admission to the uh, to University of Lagos first, before he went abroad to study uh, engineering. All this time, all this period, he was, I would say, grooming himself, because he was rapping. Oh, well. I think he has always had a um, ambition to not only be a musician but to be a music music executive. So even back in the day, in our university days, he had already launched and formed his um, record label D4W, which stands for Down for Whatever. 
You know, I remember that time we even invited him down to Liverpool, me and my flatmate, Alex. And we did a few rap songs together when we were still in uni. <laughs> he had a verse that was like, don't did it, don't that, and they call me the big baba, I'm pretty, witty, like pretty, I don't bother, they put the godfather, something, something, something. I know, I can't believe I remember so much of the rap, but that's how my brain works for lyrics, I don't forget that. Anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. so. Baba has come a long way. You know, but I think he's just now becoming, finding himself and coming as a professional. You know. Daddy, daddy, he gives me treats. My sister, she gives me her old shoes. My brother, he just me upon the news. But one day, the good things will go away one day they'll say it's the end bye bye my friend bye bye no love today 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 Jazz club, but beyond being a jazz club, people could go there and eat. They are going to jazz 38. They call it jazz 38. Jazz 38. Oh wow! You know we performed there for many years, and uh, my father, Fela, performed there as well. My brother Femi performed there. When I say we, that's we, the band Positive Force, of which I was a member then, and then. Um, Femi also performed there as a jazz artist, and in those days, Jazz 38 was the jazz, the center of jazz in Lagos. You know, we miss it, people we just used to go there to jam, to just feel good. Jazz 38 was a different place. All sorts of musicians jammed there. We tried his best to make musicians, that's the fact that to make musicians come there and jam with his own band, his own jazz band. For instance, for that way, we were all Peter Fisher, we were all the places. There were a lot of people passed through there. Musicians who came to Nigeria, he tried to make them, and this one or two of them passed through there to see how he did his things. It was, his father was very, it was a good inspiration for him, actually. He has been exploring so many other areas. First of all, one major thing I point about to me that he really wants to continue to project the Jazz 38 dream and foundation where he grew up. The music of his father and his mother and jazz music. And I know that because he's also very influenced, like I was also, like his mother and I were very highly influenced, not only by the jazz music, but after this. So, I'm not surprised there's a fusion of his Afrobeat uh, upbringing and jazz, and it's very close to his cousins, Femi Kuti and Shiro Kuti, who are just Afrobeat for last style. Afrobeat is currently in the explored. It's very, it's exploring a lot of things that it didn't do in the early. Afrobeat is young, so it's now morphing into genres that are becoming more and more difficult to distinguish where the melting pot of genres has become so full that it's hard to distinguish what is what I think now. So what my prayer is for how Afrobeat continues to grow is that people carry on their path of the things that they're passionate about and the, distinguish, the, 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 the distinguishable elements between the sub-genres of Afrobeat become very prominent so people can identify as a sub-genre of an Afrobeat genre of music. For example, I'm an electronic Afrobeat musician. I'm an Afrobeat jazz musician. I'm an Afrobeat tech no musician. I don't know. The same way that jazz evolved into Latin jazz and uh, all the many variables, that's the idea that Afrobeat should be able to spread out as, you know, really as wide as possible all around the world and incorporate as many things as it can. Brief. 
I listen to the music, it's brave. What I mean is brave is that it's his own interpretation of Afrobeat. If you can keep it up that way, it will make it very great. If you can keep it up that way, that means if you can just identify a style, a genre, a style for himself and stick with that style, he will make a headway. I think he's doing, I've heard his music and I think he's doing very well. I'm enjoying him. He was at Celebration last year and it was very impressive. And I, I, I think he's, he's doing a great job. And I have nothing but good thoughts towards him and his music. Um, I saw his uh, performance on video at Africa Shrine when um, on many occasions when the time he came and he was rapping, no band with that behind him, maybe two or three years ago, you know. And uh, the last year when he actually had a band that he rehearsed with in Lagos here, the band was formed for the purpose of going to do that show. I saw him and also I've seen other I've seen a lot of his performances in different gigs he's been doing in the US. I saw him at last celebration on that stage. It was great. People in the celebration crowd are very hard to please. But they listen and they clap and there was great applause for his music. Celebration can stone you out. They have done that to world rated artists who just couldn't measure up to their own standard. But for Papa Kubo in that day, I think. Yeah, he need to practice his sax more. That was my thought, you know, because he has picked up the sax so far. You know, I think news build on that. Yeah, other than that, everything is smooth. You know, it's not easy to pick up an instrument at a late stage in your life. Well, it's not that old compared to me. I, mean, I definitely can't pick up the sax now. But his master, mastering of the sax, the last time I saw him, he wasn't playing the sax. And now he's playing the sax, so I think. Um, He's, he seems very, very dedicated, and that, that is impressive. Yeah, from Koyi with Vance. Yeah, that's where he had ever lived. He was born in Koyi, that's on Awolo or number 38. He grew up there. He grew up amongst horns and guitars. His father was a good baritone, uh, a bass player, and then he used some sax. The mother was a singer, awesome singer. So that is a very poetic title from the Boy with Horns. They are stolen it from my title from Africa with Fury. You know. So from the Koyi with Horns, you know, I mean this is a, a straight plagiarization. You know. So maybe that's why he's asking me this question to be cheeky. You know. I think it's a clever title that was stolen from me. That, that's what I think. I think it's very cool. It's very. I like the title. I like from Ikoi with horns, and the fact that he's the center. I like the colors. I like the color scheme. It's really cool. I like that it's a very old TV with a saxophone next to it. I think I understand what the fruits and the, the posture he has represents. All around, I think it's very cool. I think it's very nice. I have just been shown to me that's album cover and I love it. I just love it. First of all, it's my favorite color. One of my favorite colors. I have two favorite colors. Yellow and, and yellow. Wow. Wow. I am so I love I love the yellow suit, I love the yellow chair, I love I just love it. Beautiful young man. Very humble, very innovative, and very sharp. Very honest, very straightforward, and a man of many parts, very compassionate, very kind, loving, supportive, beautiful man, a man with a vision. 
a man with a great heart. I always told him, I said, Timura, you are the son of a king. You have the heart of a king. He has the heart of a king. That's my son. Baba, Timura. Oh, no.